Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum and good evening to all the viewers and knowledge seekers. This is Sibratullah Malik at the platform of Explore with HS. As promised, I'm back with my new video and I'm excited to initiate this world of knowledge sharing for all the knowledge seekers. But before we jump into our topic, I would like to request to all of you to subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon if, uh, uh, so that you are notified for all the upcoming videos. So in the past couple of days, I was reluctant that which topic I should start with. I was thinking that I should start with the topic which is useful for the beginners at first place. So I came up with a topic which is PQP document. The reason to select this topic for my first video you will come to know if you watch this video to the end. Let's come to the topic. PQP stands for Project Quality Plan. PQP is a project specific quality plan that describes activities, standards, tools and processes necessary to achieve quality in the delivery of the project. Now I will give you the overview of the content of this document. First of all, it has a scope of the project. Let's suppose if you have a tower project, it will explain in detail what ever will be included in the tower let's suppose how many floors there are going to be how many swimming pools does it have any steel structures or uh, it has any MEP activities or any facade work so all the activities major it will show you in this document <music> Secondly, it will give you idea about all the stakeholders involved in this project, be it structures, architecture, MEP, HVAC, all other subcontractors for let's suppose uh, we have wooden work, also the HVAC, AC works, you know, all this included uh, 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 stakeholders, it will list everybody in that document. <music> In relation to stakeholders, I would like to also add here that it uh, defines who is who and what is what. It will define everybody's role in the project. Let's suppose we have the organization chart in, uh, attached in this document which shows that what person is involved on what roles and on, and on what designation. So it will list from top to the bottom for uh, the contractor. Another information it will provide you with is program of works. This program of works is a program or plan of the project that how many years it is going to take and what activities in how many months it is going to achieve. Like it will give you the full detailed plan of the project. And last but not the least also it will have a detailed integrated management system uh, uh, explained in this document so integrated management system uh, uh, includes the templates uh, all the templates of the documents which will be used throughout the project let's suppose if I give you example we have any block work activity so how the subcontractor for the block work will be brought on board for the project uh, it is defined in that document it will give you that this document we have to use uh, as a reference to start uh, with and then uh, it, it will get approved and so on and so forth you will get all the inspections till the end of the block work activity so this is what integrated management system includes and also all the NOCs authority approvals each and everything uh, obviously I cannot cover it all up in this video but I my intention was just to uh, table this document in front of you so that you all can do some research on this document and get grip on this even if you are already in the field or you are about to enter in this field because this document is a driving document 
for you throughout this uh, throughout the project and uh, it will make you like a professional and proper good engineer so i would say that this document is a reference book or handbook for all the people who are working on the project so i would also uh, guide you or suggest you that whenever you enter the project as a newcomer just search for this document and first of all just review it and get the understanding of this document so that you are fully aware of the things going to happen like in uh, what manner and how are going to happen and what procedures are going to be followed so everything you can know through this document so although this is a, a project specific document but uh, good news is that you will find lot of templates on online platforms uh, which are almost the generic ones and the similar ones only companies are making few changes as per their policies or uh, management system and then uh, it's uh, at the end it's a sim similar kind of document so try to uh, grab that document and go through it so i would say that uh, it's like a constitution of the country this is such important this document is it's like a directory for the tourist you know uh, so i would request all of you to just do research on this document and also if you still have any questions you are most welcome you can put in my comment box for this video and uh, if obviously i will get more questions i will try to make another video like a q and a but if uh, there are few questions i will try to answer them inshallah and uh, yeah thank you very much for watching this video stay blessed